Hi hey everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I hope I'm well. Must say that I am not really in the best of my states today because I am a little bit headache. I guess that because of what we are working and releasing and all these things. So um, I guess that uh, this is what's happening. So we have to deal with it. So let's go, let's begin <clears throat> with our topic for today, um, which is problems. Let's resignify the word problem. So just in case, if you see something going on the screen, it's not a fairy, it's, it's a mosquito. So first of all, let's try to understand what is a problem, but because, but from the point of view of our cultures today. A problem basically is those things that you have to solve that otherwise, if you don't solve them, you are not going to be able to move forward or to live plainly your life. And this is the idea that has been created in our cultures by saying that we all have these problems that we have to deal with and that we have to transcend in order to live properly and in harmony. And then when we go to the school, um, they start to present as problems that we have to solve. And then in the exams, we have many problems that if we don't solve them, uh, if we don't solve them, we are not going to be accepted, socially speaking. So we are not going to be able to go farther to move ahead if we don't do it properly. So in our subconscious mind, in our unconscious mind, we start to create this idea that we have to solve the problems in order to be accepted by others. <clears throat> so with this idea that we have about problems, there is someone that is living its life by survival and that wants to, to survive physically, emotionally, and mentally, usually this person will try to avoid problems simply because that person is trying to survive and to live comfortable, not to have anything to fight for. So to be in a comfort zone. Hmm? This is why we don't want to have problems. We don't want to find any problems. So culturally, we created the idea that problems are those things that can take us to uh, instability, uh, to, to take us to, um, to a point where we are not going to be able to, to handle even our own lives and we can even die. Hmm? So that's why people try to avoid problems. So we also have, in the other hand, this, um, this idea of problems. There are some people from many areas like engineers, scientists, philosophers, um, architects, whatever, in agriculture, many people from many different, um, from many different um, um, uh, branches that they dedicate their lives to find problems that their job is to find problems, to create problems in order to know the ways to solve them. Hmm? So in this way, we have a lot of people in the world that use the problems as something that improves humanity, society, science, reality, everything that we live in, our world as we know it, is made because of people that have thought on different problems to understand what solutions can we find to those problems. Hmm? And these people usually tend to, um, to face the problem in order to know how to solve it. Hmm? So somehow, this means that in a part of that person, it doesn't exist this need of comfort in order to survive, but exists something that 
tells you about transcendence, hmm? to transcend something. And here comes, so, the etymology of the word problem, which is much more related to transcendence than to not knowing how to solve something. Problem. Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> so, problem comes from two Greek words. Pro, that means, wait, that means ahead. And balein, that means to throw strongly. Hmm? Strongly. To throw strongly. So that would be to throw something with a lot of strength ahead. Throw something ahead. That's the meaning of problem. So a problem would be to throw something really hard ahead without thinking about the consequences of what you have thrown. And of course we have, for every problem, we have a solution with its verb to solve. That comes from solvere in Latin, that means to set free, to release something. Hmm? Topic that we already spoke about. So to take literally the etymology of the words, the example would be, the problem is when you have something and you throw it very fast and far away, <clears throat> but that thing that you throw is connected with a rope. Hmm? So you threw it away, but if you don't let it go, if you don't release the rope, you will be uh, drawn with that, like, like um, pulled by the force of the object. So in order for you not to fall down, you just leave it away. You release the cord. And that's solution to solve. So speaking only about the etymology, this is the example to remember the etymology of both things. So when you think about these two words, now you can get this idea that a problem is something that we are attached to, that is pushing us ahead, that is pushing us with a, with a strength, with a force that we don't have. The problem is like moving us forward with all the strength that we don't want to move. We lose our axis because of the pushing of this object, this thing that was thrown away. So this means that we are pushed and we are losing our axis because we are attached to what has been thrown away in the, in the future or ahead of us. And how can we solve the problem? by letting it go, releasing the tension, leaving it away. As you see, just by the etymology of these two words, it's like a whole book of, how do you say this? Um, uh, autoajuda, to, to help yourself. I don't know the name in English of these kind of books that are for your self-awareness and these things. So, <clears throat> Um, when you um, <clears throat> self-help, okay, thank you, self-help books, thank you. So etymologically speaking, problem and solution just with the only words are the summary of every self-help book. So the reason why a problem appears once and again, once and again, is basically because we are attached to that problem, because we are constantly attached to that um, uh, person, situation, concept, object. So from different points of views, 
from our inside, we are still attached to that thing that is thrown away. So the way in which we are going to solve a problem is by transcending the problem, not to eliminate the problem. So a problem has been designed in order to help us evolve, to help us improve ourselves, to give us something new with a solution, experience, knowledge, wisdom. When we have to, um, when, when we want to eliminate a problem, what happens with us is that we are, when we eliminate, eliminate a problem, we don't have also the solution. We don't have also the way to, um, we don't have also the wisdom, the knowledge, the, um, the experience. So we don't evolve. We keep staying exactly like the same. This is why a problem is a synonym for transcendence and evolution. We all here exist because of the problems. So the same word of uh, the same word problem is helping us to understand our own evolution. That we are here because of the problems. So the same word problem saying that we are pulled, uh, pushed, sorry, pushed and thrown away in front. We are moved. We are pushed in front. Okay, that, that's the, that's what the problems mean. So a problem is helping us to move forward constantly. Okay, but once we reach there, we have to let it go. We have to resolve, solve the problem. To solve the problem is to let go the problem. Otherwise, we throw it away in a way, and we are repeating exactly, constantly the same. Hmm? So this is something that you will see from different of views in your life, in the problems of your life. So now I'm going to speak about it from three different points of views. So here we have a cube. Can you see the shape? We have a cube. And inside, we have these lines that connect the faces. So we have one line here straight, connecting the up and down. The other line here, connecting the both sides, right and left. And then we have another line here, connecting front and back of the cube. Mm -hmm. Each one of these lines has two different um, uh, directions, one that is positive, the other one that is negative. As you can see, all the forces have come from the center of the cube here in the intersection. So all the, this shape of the cube has emerged from the core and all the forces will come back to the core. So we have here that this vertical line here will have a positive and a negative side of the line. Hmm? So we can say here that if all the strength was in the core, this is like the Big Bang. So eventually it will explode and expand the forces in between positive and negative. So it will expand so much, the positive in one side and the negative in the other side, that it'll, that all the forces will be thrown with a lot of strength ahead in air, all the directions of the universe. That is why we can call this line of positive and negative a problem. Hmm? The expansion then would be a problem. So we can say here that the problem emerges when the two forces expand. But of course, that positive and negative, they attract each other. They come back to the center. So they will start to close up one to another. And as much closer they get, the fast they start to move. So they hit each other. They collapse to each other. And this is what in Latin we call conflict. Con meaning all together, all the forces, and flictus, that means heat. Hmm? Means the, yes, the heat. So that would be a conflict when all the forces find together again. The problem is expansion, the conflict, the contraction. Hmm? 
this is another way to see this expansion of the universe. So this means that the universe expands itself looking for problems, trying to find different ways. So eventually the universe will need for all those problems to find each other in order to integrate all this ex experimentation so it can be transcended. So that moment when all the problems find themselves together in one point, we call that having a conflict. So I don't think that I have to give any uh, example of what a problem is because we all have some kind of problem. And of course, we all have some kind of conflict. So as a basics, we well, let's say that a problem is something that we know that we have, but maybe it's in the future, it's coming, or we are thinking about it. And a conflict is something that is happening right now, that you have to solve it right now. So exactly the conflict is the one that is right now and that we have to solve, because the problem is the one that has been creating the different possibilities for my evolution. The conflict is to leave that process of evolution and suddenly, when you just release, when you find the solution to that, is when you understand that you already acquire, integrated that evolution, the tools for that evolution. Hmm? Let's see the lines. So we have here these three ways of problems, conflicts, and solutions, hmm? which is one is the high, yeah, up and down, the high, related to the spiritual with oneself. The other one is the way, related to the emotional with friends and family, all the known people. And then we have the depth, which is the physical, related to the enemies. First of all, we have the inner conflict. What would be the line? The line that have a positive and the negative, crossing the whole being that we are, that I am. And, and we have these problems that are created in our own existence, that then they create a conflict. When they come back bah, in the center in one chakra, it creates a conflict. And that conflict must be solved by our own self. So we have a conflict between our emotional, our physical, our mind, our beliefs, we have an inner conflict that we have to solve by ourselves. And the way we solve something from ourselves is when we release the tension, knowing that this is just an inner process and so on. But let's go to the problem thing. So the second one is the horizontal. The horizontal is related with the line of the arms to the sides. So from here, we have the connection with the family, the friends, the lovers, all the ones that we are together as one. OK, so when we expand like this, we create problems with them, with these people, with the ones we love. Mm -hmm. So then this love comes back, bah, creating a conflict inside related to those people that we are connected to. Mm -hmm. This is the, the conflict. So. Um, so what do we have to do? The problem is the conflict is within ourselves. So when we release the tension, when we solve the, how we solve the problem, releasing the tension from inside and releasing them from the tension also. <clears throat> that would be. And the other one, which is the depth, is related to the back and front. So this one is the one that is related with the enemies. What it means? The, Treasons and the wars in front of us. So is problems with people that we don't know or problems that we have no idea about, that they come from behind and we don't know how to face them, or also those problems of the enemies that come from in, from in front that are these people that are fighting with us, even if, if they are not connected to us in our love. Hmm? So are those who we go in war, in battle, we face, okay? Um, so when we expand that, we create the problems, and then they come back creating the conflict. Hmm? 
How do I solve this? By releasing the tension. So, of course, that for one problem, there is thousands of solutions. And there are thousands of problems. So, it's impossible for me to say how to solve a problem. Because each one of you has a different way to solve the problem. But what I can really say is kind of the key of how it is to solve a problem, which is to letting go, setting free. And that's what I'm going to try to explain. Remember that these days we have been speaking about what is intention, what is the tension, what is the conflict. So now remember that we have three strings. One string is that connect me with myself, another string that connects me with the loving ones, the loved ones, and another string that connects me with the world. So now, <clears throat> remember the tension. Everything is connected by these strings. So we are all connected by this tension. We share this tension. So if one of those strings starts to stretch more and more and more, and one of them release the tension, the strength comes really hard to the one that is holding it. Hmm? So when someone releases the tension, some suffers the effect of that release. Hmm? So this can be like this with our inner self, like this with the outer world, and like this with the one love. So if I am here loving someone, and that someone leaves me and releases the tension, the one that is suffering is me. And I stay with all this energy here. Hmm? So suddenly, when comes another person, I will say, oh, now I love you. So can you hold this, please? Can you hold this for me? So as you see, it's exactly the same. OK, so eventually it will have the same because it has the same energy. Hmm? So the same problem is repeated. Hmm? So now, like this, I will recognize that the problem is not in the other one. Who has the problem? Here. So the conflict that we have, the emotions that we feel, are only in us. The other one doesn't have it. What is the most logic solution for this problem? So I don't repeat exactly the same. The solution is to let go. You go and buy another one. <laughs> I would like for us to understand something from this. So this here is a problem. Yeah. So the reason why I can know that I am attached to this problem is when in my life, the same things are repeating once and again. The same people, the same situations, everything is repeating once and again, once and again. Hmm? So how can I make this thing to into something that instead of bringing me the same problem once and again, helps me to evolve. So now we will see another way to let it go. Pay attention. The next is called transcendence. So now to transcend a problem, to create a problem into 
another thing. So we have here this link with someone, with a person. So when I recognize the problem, instead of waiting for that person to release and I get stuck with all this, hmm, what I do is to change the question. So instead of asking why this person is reflecting me this or doing this to me, I turn the energy questioning, why do I see this from this person? Simple change that brings us to transcendence. Okay. So this is the way in which we can understand now how to make a problem, how to transform a problem before it gets a conflict, before it begins to be a conflict, hmm? you make it into transcendence. So the problem here doesn't make a conflict, but it was a release of the tension and the problem became evolution, moving myself forward. Hmm? Because if I release the tension, just I don't have anything. I don't. I I just stay in one spot. I don't do anything. It doesn't have any meaning, any sense, anything. So the one that usually don't want to face the problem, because to face the problem is to do this and say, oh, this is the problem. The ones that don't want to face the problem just get stuck in this connection. OK? And that's not changing. It's the comfort zone. And you stay like this with this bad energy all the time. And this is how a problem can take us into another level of consciousness. I didn't erase the problem, I just use it as a way to jump into another level of consciousness, let's say. And just to end this with ourselves. So now let's imagine that we have here this and we have this problem with a person and we say why why this person is doing this to me if i am a good person i don't did i didn't do anything bad i'm always a fine person a good person how can i transform this within myself the change of this question would be what is this person reflecting to me what is this person given to me so I can teach better to others, to help others? Or I can do another jump, like, what am I learning from this situation? Hmm? Um, so as, an ex as, a, as a practice, maybe you have to buy some of this and do this in the face of people, but don't, don't release it on the face of people. So let's go to the alignment. The vibration for today is Ria. The code for today is Venus. The next planet on the list is an ocean of toxic, toxic gases and volcanoes in constant eruption that makes it look glowy and beautiful from here. Its light attracted all civilizations of the world, decorating and enchanting the observers of the sky. Its names its name originates from the word when, meaning love, beauty, desire. What has given this world those characteristics, being the divinity of love, of relationships, of desire, and passion. Sit comfortable, close your eyes, and we concentrate in our breathing.
I become aware of the space I find myself in, the body I inhabit, and my breathings. And in front of me, I observe a light, a divine spark that is my soul. I breathe and ignite it. I receive its strength and light in my crown chakra. I recognize here all the problems that I have according to my beliefs. And I set the intention to release them, igniting the spark of the crown. I breathe the same, this divine spark, to my third eye. I recognize here the problems that I have because of my thoughts. And I set the intention to release, resolve these problems by igniting throughout my brain and my eyes this part. I descend this divine spark to my throat chakra. I take a moment to think about the problems that I have for those things that I said and, I, and those things that I hadn't said. And I set the intention to solve the problems, igniting this divine spark throughout my throat. I descend this divine spark to my heart. I bring the attention to the problems that I have for that that I feel. And I set the intention to solve these problems, igniting this part in my heart.
I descend this divine spark to my solar plexus. I put intention to recognize the problems originated in my ego. And I set the intention to solve these problems, igniting this spark in my plexus. I descend this part to my sacrum chakra. recognize the problems that I have in order to create in this life. And I set the intention to solve these problems igniting the spark throughout all my creative center. I descend the spark to my root chakra. And I recognize the problems that I have in order to manifest what I want in this life. And I set the intention to solve these problems igniting the spark of my root. I descend the spark to my knees. I recognize the problems of my history. And I set the intention to solve them by igniting the heart in my knees. I descend this divine spark to my feet.
that doesn't allow me to move forward in my path. And I set the intention to solve them by igniting the spark in my feet. I expand all these sparks in all the directions, knowing that they are the problems that push me forward to my own evolution. And in my sound, I release. <laughs> I am the unity's wisdom. I am unity's wisdom. I am unity's wisdom. I am. I am. I am. I take a deep breath, bringing this consciousness all throughout my body, stretching and yawning. And each one at its own time, coming back here and now. Thank you everybody for being here as always. And as every day, see you tomorrow at the same time.